Okay, so it's like 3.45 in the morning, so I'm going to make this quick. Because I woke up to go to the bathroom, and this popped back into my head, and I'm still a little angry about it. So, I had this conversation um, yesterday evening um, with a longtime friend of mine. And they were like, they were talking about... Um, they made mention of the video that I did about, you know, where I was trying on the wigs or whatever. And they were like, why would you embarrass yourself? You're so pretty. Why would you embar embarrass yourself by, you know, trying on wigs or doing things that were unflattering, I guess, on camera? And so, um, you know, they're like, I don't understand why you feel like you need to basically do something different. So, and I had to stop for a second because it kind of went on. They're like, you know, that's not quite, what was it? That it was embarrassing and that it wasn't classy. I didn't take off any clothes. Um, and that's pretty much the only line in the dirt that I have is that I don't show any skin. So, and I try not to use a whole bunch of foul language in my videos, but one of the things that I, in this, in this very brief conversation about this, um, cause I realized kind of what was happening. And then I said, well, well, wait a minute. This person is feeling embarrassed. I'm, and I'm confused cause I'm not embarrassed. Like whatever I'm doing is me. That's me that's not you um and so um how do you tell someone else that they should be embarrassed for doing something that they enjoy doing now i share my life with you guys because i feel like sharing my life you know i decided last year that i wanted to do i wanted to be a youtube artist i've only been taping and putting up videos for the last two weeks um, I'm just now getting in really into this and, you know, while we've been taping and I've lost a lot of footage or I've redone a lot of footage or we couldn't figure out how to, you know, we're, we're, we're novices at this. So we are in the, in the, I'm not, I'm not even in the training wheel stage. I'm in the tricycle stage right now. Um, and so you know, everything is a learning process. I don't expect to be wildly successful after putting up six videos. That is never my expectation. You know, I've watched enough YouTube artists that are like, you know what? I had to post like every day for months and months and months. And then finally, you know, it caught on or I got enough subscribers and I hit 30 subscribers or whatever. So my thing is this. You know, and so let me explain to you where I'm at with the video thing. You know, some of y'all are like, oh my God, I'm so sick of her going live, you know, or her posting these videos or whatever. If you want to support, support. If you don't, that's okay too. My, no harm, no foul. I'm doing this for me. It's a creative outlet for me. It's fun. It's time that I get to spend with my grandchildren doing something positive. In the course of all of this, you know, the worst thing that can happen is that they have, my grand, my children and grandchildren have video footage of some of the fun things that we've done and the conversations that we've had and memories. They have um, home movies, basically. You know, um, the other good things that can come from it are the fact that my granddaughter's learning how to edit videos and the boys are learning stage presence and how to speak in front of, you know, um, an audience and, and building their self-esteem up, you know. So it's one of those things where I'm confused as to what the motive here was to even have that conversation. And I know that even some of you all right now didn't even get this far into the video because you're like, oh my God, it's her again. And that's fine. I'm not for everybody. I may not be for 99% of the people on my Facebook page, but the five people that actually follow what the hell I do, 
Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate your sharing my videos. I appreciate your going and actually viewing, you know, the YouTube videos. I appreciate you um, because that's what's called being supportive. You know, support is it's an interesting thing because support. And I've heard this time and time again. I'm thinking, oh, no, not from not from my people. You know, support is an interesting thing. People want to support you as long as you're in a place that's comfortable for them. But if you're trying to ex aspire to be something more than or greater than or just different, sometimes you're not going to get the kind of support that you expect from the people that are closest to you. And that's okay too. Do it anyway. You know, if you're a 50-year-old or a 70-year-old that wants to learn, they want to skydive or they want to... Um, play, learn how to play the drums or go back to school and get your degree or whatever, do it. Don't let anybody stop you. Because if you stop and let those people, if you listen to them long enough, they become the voices in your head that say, no, you can't. No, sit down. No, you know, you just, just be normal like everybody else. Be ashamed to... Be ashamed of or be fearful of becoming who you're meant to be. I'm not meant to be like everybody else. I'm not meant to be like you. I'm not meant to be like my next door neighbor. I'm not meant to be like my coworker. I'm, I'm me. And so I have to, I got to live my best life, you know? Like I said, I'm not out here touching people's children. I'm not here getting naked in front of uh, in front of a camera. I am doing no harm. And I'm trying to even be positive. And if you do listen to the videos, I usually give a little bit of advice because I've been here for a minute. So I usually give a little bit of advice about crazy stuff, you know. But um, I just thought that it was interesting, though, because I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. I realize what's happening here. You're trying to give me your shit. You're trying to give me your stuff, your, um, your insecurities, and I don't want them. I don't want to, if, if you have insecurities about the way that people view you, you know, there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be TV personalities, there wouldn't be comedians, there wouldn't be actors and actresses, if they were not afraid to step out and do something different. Musicians, you know, um, what if, you know, Bob Marley had listened to the people who are like, you're not good enough. You're not, mm-mm, nah. You know, it has to start somewhere. Yeah, I'm getting a late start on this, you know, but my thing is, it's something fun. It's something that I enjoy doing. Let me be me. Let me be great. That's it. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt you. So I'm confused as to why that's even an issue. But people have their own thing. But my thing is keep your thing away from my thing then. I, I don't have the energy to feed or to... Um, I try to be positive. I try to give off a positive vibe, hopefully. Encouragement, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't have a whole lot of it when people try to come for come for me and what I'm trying to accomplish. You know, I, I'm since I don't really know where you're coming from with that, I'm finding it difficult to want to have a whole bunch of further conversation about it. Like I said, you don't have to want to do what I'm doing. You don't even have to understand it. You don't. Um I appreciate the support from those that give it to me, but those that don't, oh well. There's going to be some little Asian, let me just say this, because I'm speaking this into existence. There's going to be somebody, some little Asian farmer in Taiwan that speaks English that is like, you know what? There's this fat yellow girl on YouTube that I really enjoy watching. I, I love watching her American life. There's going to be another, and he's going to tell his little friend in New Zealand, and they're going to be like, you know what? Absolutely. That American, she is something, she is something magnificent. 
you know, that's all it takes. It's like a beat out Sassoon commercial. Anyway, that was my rant for tonight. But, you know, my thing is this, just at the end of the day, if you don't get any other message, be a positive influence. If you see somebody trying to do something, encourage them. It, sometimes you don't know who you're encouraging. You know, it could be the next Will Smith. It could be the next, um, you know, the, the next Kevin Hart. It could be the next Tiffany Haddish. So you don't know who you are encouraging. But be a light. Don't be an ass. Good night.